Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to output one free DMX universe with the software MA.2 using your USB to DMX interface. As always, all links will be in the description. Let's get started. So first we're gonna install some software. If you didn't already, go to the MA lighting site and download uh, the official Dot2 on PC software and just install it. Then you want to go to Freestyler and uh, install Freestyler. This is another DMX control software, but we are only interested in their Artnet to DMX tool that comes pre-installed. So just download it right here and run the installer. Yes, it's safe. Run the installer and uh, accept the license agreement and make sure that you uh, check the box Artnet to DMX Converter because this is a program we're going to use. So create desktop icon, yes, okay. Next, install. So wait for it to finish and then we can continue. Now that the software is installed, in order for them to communicate properly, we need to install a loopback adapter. So go into your control panel and select device manager and click network adapters and press action and add legacy hardware. Now we want to select advanced and search for network adapters. Click on Microsoft and the Microsoft KM test loopback adapter. Just click next to install it and it is finished already. Perfect. Now we need to configure our loopback adapter. To do that go to the network and sharing center and here you will see the loopback adapter. Press right here and go to properties and then you want to look for internet protocol version 4 and go to properties as well and then you will need to set a custom IP address. I'm going to set mine as 2100101 and then you click here to set the subnet mask and press OK. Close right out of here and we are set. So next you want to uh, open up your Artnet to DMX software. Just open this and then you need to select your interface under the interface setup screen. Now uh, I'm going to use the Antec Open DMX interface for this example, but if you've got another interface, you need to select yours from the list, of course. Press save. And then you need to restart this program. To do that, do not hit the X right here. You need to press file and then exit, otherwise it won't close correctly. Now we need to select the loopback adapter in the Ardner to DMX software, open it up and uh, go to the network adapter list and select our loopback adapter that we just installed. Now we need to uh, rerun this program again and it is set. After this is set, we can close it to the background and fire up Auto 2 on PC software. In here, we need to go to the Setup tab and click on Network Interface. Now you will want to uh, select the Microsoft Loopback Adapter that we just installed. Uh, be careful, do not select the Loopback Pseudo Interface Adapter because it will not work. Be sure to select the Microsoft Loopback Adapter like it's shown here. Mine is called Ethernet 9, yours can be called Ethernet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. Just check that it says Microsoft Loopback Adapter right here. Select it, press OK, and the software will reboot. Now press on Setup again, go to Sessions and start a new session right here. Click on Session 1, OK. Your station is a part of Network Session 1. Perfect. Now go to Network Protocols and hit Artnet. And as you can see, uh, the IP that it's shown here uh, is the IP of your loopback adapter. 
Now, what's left to do is patch in some fixtures and see if it works. I'm just going to patch in some powers here. For example, for LED powers, apply all or changes. Now, if we change the dimmer and put the color to blue and make a little dimmer effect, you can see in the software that the fixtures are changing values. And if we go to our Artnet to DMX tool, we can see that the blue circles are there. And if you go to show output, you can see that the values are changing and the software outputs it to your DMX interface. So that's basically it. You can now use the DOT2 on PC software with your DMX interface of choice. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to leave a like to let me know. If you got any questions, uh, ask them in the comment section down below and I will try to help you as best as possible. Have a nice day. Goodbye.